Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Let's Get Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yako and this channel content has to do with color draw, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. If you visit my channel, all you have to do is to make sure you click on videos. And when you click on video, you'll be able to see my present and past tutorial in color draw, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So all you have to do is to scroll down and see my tutorial. All this tutorial has been made for basic to advance in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. All you have to do is to watch the video, learn one or two things, and if you have any question as far as my tutorial is concerned, put your question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you visit. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back friends, so the first thing we need to do is to make a new page size of the business card, we go to 5, then we click on new. So here we go guys, this is where you set your page, so the width should be 3.5 and the height should be 2, then you have to have the blade area of 0 0.125. Then we make sure that we select color to the same YK. Once we are done there, at this point, this is where we type the name of our design. So it's stylish. Business card. So once you are done, everything is good. Then. You come down below here and click just to make a new page document. So what you have to do next is to go back to your toolbar. Then you select your rectangle. Then from the menu bar you can remove this stuff color. Then we make a perfect rectangle. The actual size. Next, we go to objects from the menu bar here. Then we look for parts. From parts, then we look for offset parts. So the dialog box is going to pop up just like this. So from this point here, we type the figure of minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.125. Then we can click on preview to see what we are doing. So you can see it has been activated from the page layout. Then we click on OK. Next, we right click on the shape and we choose the graphs. Here we go. So we have our layout setting for the business plan. Okay, so let's start the design in full. Then I'll go to my menu bar again. I'll go to my view. Rulers. Then show rulers. So I need a ruler to, to know the center points of this design. Good. Last thing to do now is to go to my tools by again. Now I need my pen tool. So from the property here, you can apply stroke color. Then we can use our pen tool now. So from the down below here, I'll make a path.
now close the part here. Good. Then I'll make another part here. Now right click on it, click on arrange, then send to back. Good. Next I'll group everything together. And I'll go to objects. I'll make a duplicate and take it to the top. Now, right click on it and look for transform. From transform, then I will look for. Okay, and now I right click, transform, then reflect. Then I can click on OK. Then I can adjust. And I can go back to my pencils again. And I'll make it part on this point here. Then I can right click on it, arrange, and send it back. Okay, from this point now, I can change the color to this red. And I can ungroup all the shape. And 
I change this color also. Add this red. And this color. Add this red. This one here also objects on group. So we do this. And two. And I'll close the fast here. Click, arrange, then send it back. Now I can select everything. I'll go to objects and go. And I can take it to the front a little bit. I can go back to my pencils again. I'll make it fast. And I'll change the color to this black. Right click. Arrange. Then send to back. Good. So now we can enter the text into the business card. So all you have to do is to go back to my view again. Then rule us. I rule us. So I don't need those to lie again. Then view again. Gas. I gas. It will go so I can copy some of the text here. Everything I'm going to copy here. So I have to pick top to the design. Here's my vector. Then I will center alignment and center alignment. Then I will right click on it. Arrange, send to back. So arrange, send to back. So I have my vector in place. So finally, what I'm going to do is to make a copy of this text here and paste it into the design. So I'll copy this. And I'll drop it down. Then this one also. So now I can delete everything here. Then I'll press Ctrl plus Go 
to zoom for the canvas of the design. So this is how we will make creative and stylish business card in Adobe Illustrator. If you find this tutorial helpful, please click like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos in color. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. See you soon. Bye.